Hello everybody, this is Kevin at the Outdoor Buzz. Uh, today we are uh, going to take a look and see if our nuke that has split out has any signs of eggs developing. And uh, if so, I might, uh, and depending on if they've started expanding uh, five frames, uh, we might transfer it over into this uh, 10 frame nuke or 10 frame hive over here. Um, if you remember, June 11th, I found that my hive had essentially swarmed. Uh, there was eight or nine queen cells, swarm cells, uh, in, in the original hive. And uh, I made a decision to split it out and see what happens. So I did, made this nuke, and I left the others over there. Um, me being impatient as I was uh, for a new queen because I had checked several times to see if there was a, uh, a virgin queen. Two days after I did the split and this nuke, the cells had hatched. There was, uh, I think, three queen cells on this one, and they had hatched. And uh, every time I had looked in the hive, I couldn't locate the queen. Uh, virgin or otherwise. Now, virgins tend to look a lot like the workers, so it might have been too difficult for me to, to detect them. Um, but anyways, uh, you know, I checked it a couple more times after that, and uh, I still, still couldn't see her or any evidence of her, obviously. You have to give them time to uh, harden, mate, come back, build eggs and start laying um, so last last week um, I had uh, actually last week Wednesday today is uh, June 27th by the way so last week Wednesday I uh, I got a I had ordered two Queens and what I was going to do was test the Queens on both these hives to see if uh, there was a queen present. So what I did was I took the queen, set her on there and just observed uh, observed her uh, internet, you know, to see what the bees bees would do around her. Now they went around the cage, didn't look too aggressive, whatever, so I left her left her there, set it up. I did the same thing with uh, the reg the hive over there, uh, except for that one was a little bit different. They were pretty dismissive. They didn't even they weren't really overly interested in her uh, which was way different than this one where they were all over the cage but didn't seem like they were really aggressive now uh, fast forward two days later I went and checked and both queens were still in their cage they had not been released they, the bees had not released them so this hive I decided I was going to do a free release so I opened it up and let her out and in 20 seconds they killed her stupid me live and learn Apparently there must have been a uh, a virgin queen in this hive already. The other one, um, I was so nervous about this one that I sprayed her with uh, HBH and I sprayed the hive with HBH and I gave her a free release and uh, she walked into the hive and they pretty well ignored her. And I haven't seen any evidence that uh, she was killed over in that other hive. So um, I guess we'll just, you know, We'll just see, but this hive now, uh, it's either queenless or um, or she's had to start laying by now. Again, it was July 11th when I did the split. Two days later, she had hatched, uh, and it's June 27th now, so it's exactly 14 days after they hatched that, uh, that today is. So um, there should be some evidence anyways. Now, what I'm looking for is... My, my bees were not building comb they were not doing anything when they were queenless it seemed like they just you know were using the resources that they had available and that was that so I'm going to see if they're building indeed building any um, it's kind of funny right now it looks like we're in the middle of a uh, an orientation flight uh, my bees are kind of going nuts here a little bit uh, in this hive so um, but it's that time of the day, 
you know it's uh, every day around three o'clock all my hives all my hives do it it's 241 right now that hive over there is doing it my package my other hive uh, well which is uh, oh let's see here if you can see this over there that's also having look, looking like orientation flights, so uh, it's that time of the day, apparently. So let's take a look and see what we can see in this hive, huh? I've got a feeder on the on these because, uh, well, they need to build out comb, and uh, man, are they ever in that feeder! Holy cow! And this is not a dearth or anything like that. This is the end of June, and there is plenty of uh, there's plenty of flowers and nectar out there. But uh, you can kind of see that they're uh, they're all over this top feeder, which is uh, actually a pretty good sign here. Well, let's see what we got going on inside the hive here. Well, I got bees in all my frames, which is uh, an excellent sign, actually. A very, very, very good sign. So I'm just going to chase them down a little bit here. I put this one in the middle the other day because I wanted to see them uh, start to... Uh, build this out a little bit let me see if I can get this up without hurting anything here well this is going to be kind of difficult here there we go there is a virgin queen I sure as heck don't want to hurt her but these nukes are really tight Lots of open cells. I don't see any signs of eggs. Jesus. It's kind of funny. This hasn't had any expansion of uh, brood in such a long time and yet there's a lot of bees here. Well, there it is. Signs I do have a queen. Larvae. Excellent, excellent, excellent news. That's exactly what I want to see. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Good. So, what I really want to do is move these bees over to my other hive. This is a frame here that I just installed the other day, and I want to see how they're working on it. Yeah, they're just starting to build it out a little bit. I do not know where my queen is. But it's time. Okay. Let's back this up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm 
going to uh, We're just going to start like this. So I have a queen. Yay, I have a queen. I don't know where she is, but I have a queen. This is a frame of cat brood actually and, and larva that I had stuck in here from another hive. So um, that's why we're seeing cat brood there. But uh, Okay. Oh my heavens, this one's heavy. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, it's got a lot of larvae in it. And honey out the side. So, I got a good, good queen going on there. Good. Probably did this all wrong. And I'm going to pick this one up. Okay, they are in their new home for sure. So I've got that. I'm gonna leave this out. 
here. And I'm going to have to be right back when it comes to this I got to go get a feeder for this hive now okay I'm back let's get this show on the road here down okay that as they say is that I'm starting to put my vents on the back side for uh, various reasons I uh, I decided that uh, you know, vent entry, it's just good to have it kind of come in and and go out. Now this particular hive actually has a, a complete uh, screened bottom, so all the air is going to come up anyway, so it's going to be really well vented anyways. So, there you go. I am going to put the hive reducer on this one this hive is not yet big enough I don't think to protect itself in my opinion anyways so we'll just stick that in there well that'll do it for today um, at least we know we have a queen, a working queen, a laying queen, and uh, that's always a good, good sign. So, uh, until next time, happy beekeeping. Well, it looks like they're uh, getting a hint that there's a new home. And uh, it's like clockwork, it's 3 o'clock on the button, and that's when my package usually does their orientation flights, and that's what they're doing right now over here. This hive is doing really exceptionally well uh, for a package. And uh, I might have screwed up a little bit. I tried using a super as a uh, brood nest, a second brood nest I should say but I uh, probably should have just gone with a deep just like the rest of them I don't know I had this thing in my head where I I said well you know they could uh, you know at least build out comb on a super for me and then uh, I could put a queen excluder on and 
and then all the brood could hatch and and then I could take that off and, and then install a deep but uh, it was kind of dumb on my part but uh, anyways have a good day